now for Warren Weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Well, take a look at that. Uh, how about a little super moon action? If you keep your eyes to the sky tonight, the full moon is a super moon. Then you're not going to want to miss it. We got this video from Sky 4 around 7 this morning. And man, isn't that gorgeous? The <laughs> super moon, by the way, is the term that describes a full moon that's actually closer to Earth than normal. And according to Earth Sky, during a super moon event, the orb may appear about 8% larger, 16% brighter than the average full moon. The Hunter's Moon is the first full moon after the autumnal equinox. The lunar event marks the changing of the seasons. This month's Hunter's Moon is the closest of the year, and it's in the sky now through overnight tonight. We've had a Very lot cool. of reasons to look up into the I sky. Know. I know. <laughs> and you still have a few evenings where you could catch that comet going by. That's incredibly rare. That's in the western sky right after sunset. Yeah. Yeah. And then that was the third of four super moons this year. So we have another one in store heading wow. into November. It really right. is neat. Yeah. yeah. We see, we've had so much to look at. Absolutely. And we're at the peak of our solar cycle. So I'm sure there'll be more chances for the northern lights for folks that still need to or want to take those in. In the meantime, though, we are looking at crystal clear blue skies with the sun out today. It is beautiful, still a little cool, but tolerable, especially given that we don't have incredibly strong wind gusts. So just a gorgeous shot from our Windsor sky cam of our beautiful city at this lunch hour. We sit at 58 in Detroit, 54 in Ann Arbor, 54 in Pontiac, 55 in Monroe. Talk about Ann Arbor rebounding where folks there were waking up to upper 20s and it was distinctly warmer in the city. Low 40s this morning for the lows there, and so Ann Arbor certainly catching up with the folks on the east side. But we have mid, mid to upper 50s across the board and more of a westerly breeze. So this afternoon forecasting right around 60 for the afternoon high. Overall, pretty seasonal day paired with plenty of sunshine, and this is just the start of warming things up. We were just talking about that hunter's moon. I want to recap that it was at its quote, fullest phase this morning at 726 a.m. before the moon set. That doesn't mean it's still not going to be incredibly big and bright tonight, so definitely try to take that in in the night sky tonight before we start to see that change in its phase. Tonight, 36 degrees for the overnight low. So with the clear skies, you still get the radiational cooling. So maybe not quite as cold as what we had this morning, but it's still going to be on the cool side for kids that are going to be standing at the bus stop on Friday morning as we have temperatures in the 30s. However, you pair it with the sunshine and you add that southwesterly wind, and those are two ingredients that will help bump up those temperatures a little bit. So rounding out the work week tomorrow with highs in the low to mid 60s. And I think we'll see more mid 60s than anything. Then let's talk about Friday evening. Our local four game of the week that you'll be able to watch on local four plus is Wald Lake Western versus Mason. But if you're heading out to any high school football game, this is a very similar forecast for you. So we have sunny skies at six sunsets before seven. So seven or 60 degree kickoff at seven o'clock and a cool evening as those temperatures will slide rather rapidly because of the clear skies and ending those games in the low fifties. Now for Saturday, Eastern's taking on Central Michigan at home. So in Ypsilanti, when I say Eastern's at home, Saturday at 2 o'clock. So we'll probably be right around 64 degrees at that time. Mostly sunny skies and warming up into the upper 60s by game's end. However, for the Spartans, their homecoming is going to be a night game. So that's a 7.30 kickoff in East Lansing as Michigan State takes on Iowa. So really pleasant conditions for tailgating out there, upper 60s. But kickoff, low 60s, and then sliding in temperatures throughout that game, mid-50s by game's end. So looking at this future for Forecast. I mean, this is one of the most calm, quiet forecasts we have had in quite some time. And of course, we're looking at those temperatures going in the right direction just in time for the weekend. So we'll be close to 70 for your Saturday and Sunday. We hold on to those low 70s going into early next week. Also looking at those overnight lows rising into the 40s and low 50s. So it won't be quite as chilly at night. Maybe you can turn that heat off.